Exhausted. We would have called you sooner, but we thought that uh, you would probably go right to bed after you had all the guests for the party. Oh, sleep. I've been so worried about you. Where'd you go when you left Smith's house? Well, we were driving around to make sure that nobody was following us. But, uh, well, I figured you'd be starving, and I didn't know whether to make a uh, late snack or early breakfast, so I decided on breakfast. Sounds great. Yeah. Thanks, Leslie. Bobby, are you shivering? Yeah, well, I am, but I don't think it's from the weather. No, you're probably still terrified for being in that house. You know, I'm never going to be able to thank you guys enough. No, 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 we thank you. I didn't do anything. I kept the man busy. You risked your lives. Yeah, well, we managed to make about 30 calls. About 30 before uh, we had to split. You think you made any contact at all with the killer? We may never know. A lot of the people that we call were totally bewildered. They had no idea what we were talking about. We did get a call, but the person immediately hung up. Just no conversation, just hung up. Now, it, it may have been the killer, but then again, it may have just been somebody that, you know, associated Smith that would have recognized his voice and knew that I wasn't him. Well, well, then maybe something was accomplished, right? Yeah, maybe plenty. What do you mean? Well, think of it. Smith knows by now that his little fortress was invaded. Mm hmm And whoever hung up on Joe may have filed a report that somebody was taking Smith's calls. See, Smith could never have pulled off his little operation as long as he did and as slick as he did without that protection from inside the police department. And now that he knows he's in trouble, Frank may go straight to his friend in the police department. Which means that we're going to have to keep an eye on Smith from now on. It's going to be an around-the-clock job. You're not bright enough to know when you've been cricked. Calm down, Frank. We've been grilling them half the night. They told us everything they know, okay? I want them to get their things and get off the property! You think they were paid off? Who knows? I mean, they did try to find yet Leslie Weber's, right? I mean, what does she do? Slam the door in their face. Who was in here tonight, Ron? Hey, we're never going to know that. Could have been cops. It could have been your associates. It could have been Joe Kelly. I'm exhausted. I don't blame you. You've been up all night. Do you think you get any sleep now? No, of course not. Not until I know what happened in Fair Oaks. Something went wrong. The hit should have been made at midnight. He should have picked up the phone at no later than 1230. I'm going to call again. Frank, it's not going to do any good. You've been trying to reach him all night. I mean, you got to assume something went wrong. I have to know what happened. Hey, whatever you say. It's ringing. That's not Hutch. It's too early for him to call. No, I'm, I'm sure it's my employer again. You aren't going to answer it. What are you doing, avoiding Frank Smith? I haven't picked it up all night. Why should I pick it up now? I don't want you to pick it up, Max. I don't want you to pick it up at all. Does this mean you're on my side? Well, mostly. I'm on my own side. I have to assume you're right, Ron. Something did go wrong in Fair Oaks, and Luke and Laura are still alive. Listen, obviously our man couldn't find a black book, so he couldn't do the job. Forget it. The yacht's ready. As soon as the house people are awake, I'm going to tell the housekeeper to start packing Jennifer's things, okay? All I need now is to get the gold out of Fair Oaks. What do you want me to do? Call started. Tell him I have a special mission for him. Come on, man. Come on. What's your decision? He's going to call me at dawn. I know that. He's going to want to meet me right away. Please, please help me get Laura back. Come on. All you got to do is drop Hutch. That's it. And you're going to be 10 million bucks richer. The Black Book. Who else is mentioned in it? I'd be mean, happy to tell you. Besides yourself, there is the governor, State Senator Mitch Williams, Jefferson Smith Hutchins, of course, uh, Ted DeLuca, deceased, my friend Roy DeLuca, deceased, 
some spud named Vic Gower, no doubt also deceased, and a whole herd of uh, criminal lawyers, uh, dock workers, foremen, a bunch of illustrious personalities. Come on, what do I, what do you say? What, what, what is this? Do I pass the test? Oh, you get an A, Luke. You couldn't be lying about all that. Look, Max, there's gonna be a net falling over the entire organization real soon. Are you gonna get caught under it with the rest of those bimbos? Oh, I'll have to leave the country, that's for sure. Traveling, it'd be a lot easier with a purse full of gold bars. It's a no-risk situation for you. No risk at all. You're up top. You've got a perfect view. You'll be able to see everything. Which is a good shot. Yeah, that's what I hear. But what do you care? He's not going to suspect you. He thinks you're Sally, man. He doesn't know you're an assassin. He doesn't know it. It's real simple. All you got to do is drop him. Just drop him. He's going to be a sitting duck. And you're on your way to a Swiss bank. What's your answer? Yes or no? It's yes. thinking of going someplace without me, are you? Let me go. Now, you know I can't do that, darling. Until I get out there on the plaza, and I'm sure I'm going to get my gold. You thirsty, by chance? Yeah. There's a water cooler over there. Well, it's not done yet. Pretty soon. I know things have been pretty rough on you, but things could get very rough on you if you should decide to scream or anything like that. You're not going to do something crazy, are you? I still can't believe you really try to hurt us. Well, I could do a lot worse than that if Luke doesn't cooperate. I told you, if there's gold, you can have it, all of it. We don't want it. Well, I think Luke's known about it a long time. Tell me something. How does it feel? To hold a gun on a person who shared their last bit of food with you. And what little money we had. You remember that shack in the woods? We gave you our clothes, our shirts, our sweaters, just to keep you warm that night. I appreciate it, too. Then why are you doing this? Because that's the way it has to be. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Can't you just remember that, that you liked us once? That the three of us were on the run together. We were all helping each other. You told me that you loved your wife. Can't you... Can't you at least try to love us just a little bit? Nice try, Laura Lucy. But we got to make an appointment with Luke here. I'll take it in the other room. Yeah, we'll move it. I don't want to keep him waiting. Hello? Good morning, pal. Yeah, isn't it, pal? You ready? You want to trade the gold for Laura? Yes, I do. I just want to set a few ground rules first. Okay, I'm going to listen. I'm ready to meet you in the plaza. In one half hour, as soon as it gets a little lighter, you bring Laura with you. Okay. All right. Meet me near the fountain. So far, so good. What else? What else is then you let Laura go? You let her go to a nice, safe place, and I'll show you exactly where all that gold is. How do I know you won't be armed? You know I won't be. How do I know, man? You know how I feel about Laura, right? Yeah. Well, there's your proof. There's your proof. My love for that lady is your insurance that I'll do everything exactly as I say. Look, you've been with us a long time, man. You know how I feel about her. I wouldn't risk her health for anything. Let me okay. Talk. Let me talk to her. Okay. Here you go. Luke? Baby, are you all right? 
I'm fine. Tell me the truth. Hutch didn't hurt me. He won't listen to reason. But he didn't hurt me. Okay. I want you to think about this one thing. This is the main thing. As soon as he releases you, and he will release you, baby, you get out of sight as fast as possible. Do you understand? Yeah. Just so you'll know, the girl's been trying to soften me up. She fell flat on her face. Now, you behave yourself, Luke. Laura's gonna have my gun right in her back. Okay, it's all settled. I'm gonna go out there as soon as it's daylight. Now, I just don't want you to be operating under the assumption that I'm gonna get a bad case of sentimentality or something. All right? It's time to shape up, Laura. I guess we've given in enough time now, Frank. I think so. Place your call to start it. It's probably sound asleep, I'm sure. So should we all be. Yeah, start it here. It's uh, Ron Anglecliff. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, Ron. Let me get my bearings. Mr. Smith wants to talk to you. What about? I'll put them on. Cliff, it's Frank Smith. What time is it? I want to see you at my downtown office as soon as possible. I have to go to work. If you leave right now, we can have our meeting and you can go to your office. I thought I was through with this business, Frank. So did I, but circumstances have intervened. Get out of bed, Cliff. We're heading for downtown very soon. He's unhappy. Yes. Look, Frank, I'm going to wake you, butler. You take a shower, have some coffee, get yourself together, all right? Thank you, Ron. It's been a long night. You know, thinking back on it, your problem wasn't just Luke Spencer. That Joe Kelly had his hand in it all the time. He'll probably grab the credit for my leaving. I hate this last hour before dawn. Mary. Minutes are ticking by. We've got to find Luke and Laura. Joe, the police haven't been able to find Luke and Laura. Don't get crazy about it, okay? Yeah, you know, you know, uh, Captain Ramsey has had their pictures in the paper practically every day. And he had roadblocks everywhere in the world, and nothing has helped. I'm just not so sure that even if the police did find them, that they'd be safe. Do you really believe that? I'm afraid I really believe that, yes. I do too. Luke is smart. He has kept them alive by keeping them on the run. But in jail, he'd just sit in his cell and wait for them to come at him. No. No, that can't happen. It's getting light out, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad to see it. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get out of here, Bobby. We're making Leslie even more frightened. No, it's okay. Listen, don't go just yet. You just let's talk about this for a minute, okay? Please. Whatever you say. If they did, if they if they were in police custody, couldn't they have some kind of special guard? Sure, I'm sure it'd be arranged. But it wouldn't be any good. Ted DeLuca had a special guard. He was a very important prisoner. He had a guard on him 24 hours a day in his jail cell. And the killer still got to him. It's possible that the killer was the guard who was assigned to protect him. <sighs> Smith's people are everywhere. I admire your courage, man. Going out of that plaza unarmed. Well, I've always been blessed with the luck of a fool, Max. I wouldn't be caught dead doing it. I kind of hope I'm not going to be caught there doing it myself. <laughs> 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 